It's the Adam Friedland Show podcast. Hosted by Adam Friedland and Nick Mullen. How are you doing, Nick? I'm all right. Are we starting? Yeah, we just started. Okay. Yep. We're here live at the studio in New York City, Manhattan area, New York City. One of the five boroughs, one of the loveliest boroughs. It's a winter day. It's fully winter, Nick. It's in the 30s. It's chilly. Our bones are chilly. Why are you doing like a don't look at my face kind of thing? Why are you doing like this? I was scratching my head. Oh. Um, what's going on? Guys, thanks. We said it on the premium episode. Thank you to everyone that watched You're the Dragon. Of course, it does say the You're the Dragon on the show logo, as Nick made clear. It, the correct name is You're of the Dragon. Thank you to everyone who watched uh, Nick's new special. Shout out to you guys. We're, get, we're getting a great response on it. We're pretty excited about it. Thanks. And if you're a new... Listener of the show from uh, You're the Dragon, we also do a podcast, and now this is what you're watching right now. And we also have a talk show. So to the however many people that listen to it, this, is the, this is the logo of the, po- of the podcast that you're listening. We have multiple verticals here at Adam Freeland Show Incorporated. I think the way, because it's still people have trouble understanding the differences, I'm going to build some kind of... Some kind of table that says the show. Yeah. But it says podcast, and then we'll get different chairs for the podcast. Uh Uh-huh. And we should do different light, a different lighting setup. Okay. Yeah. Well, the the distinction of the suit also that's another that's another visual distinction. The Eric Andre suit. Yeah, yeah. It's not. It's actually my father's suit. He had it before any Eric. Before that guy was alive, actually. When your dad had the same color. It's the same color. When your dad had a talk show. No, he didn't have a talk show. Oh, no, you didn't have a talk show. man with a suit. Oh, it's just a gray suit. It's just a gray suit. Oh, okay. Wait, you, oh, you could have mentioned this uh, maybe nine months ago to me. Maybe been like, yeah, you got a different suit or something, perhaps. Why? Because then now you're saying it's the Eric Andre suit. You're saying well, that's that. just what we've always, you've always called it. From the beginning, you were like, well, I have <laughs> to have, called it I'm that. like, you were like, I have to get an Eric Andre suit. We have to make I have sure. to be black. <laughs> You were like, people need to know that this is the Eric Andre. The people need to know that it's Eric Andre. It is true. I said, I, I don't I, know, Adam. I thought maybe we should try to do like our own thing. And you said, what do you talk? What is your, our own thing? He talked me down from the idea you of You were like, I show. literally have never come up with a single. I, ne- I don't even know what it means to come up with my own idea. Yeah, he did talk me down from the idea of uh, calling the show the Eric Andre show. I think it would have been that. tacky. You were like, nobody's ever done that before. I was like, <laughs> Eric Andre did it. And you were like, literally when? Yeah. When? No. no listen, I don't watch and I'm things. like, I think you stole that from Eric Andre. I don't watch you're things. Like, I didn't even say that. <laughs> I don't watch things. How am I supposed to know? And then you started screaming. I didn't scream you at You started screaming. You were like, ah. That's a singing. That's singing. No, you were screaming. That's singing. You were screaming at the top of your Okay, line. would you tell the Vienna Boys Choir that they're sing- that they're screaming? I don't even... Oh, de joy? What is the Vienna Boys? I'm thinking of a high-pitched choral singing. Mm-hmm. Ah! Is that a scream or a sing to you? I don't know. You can call it whatever you wanted, but you started doing that, and then... So, Christmas is right around the and corner. And Dave quit. No, that's not true. Dave, Dave did like, not quit. I can't deal with this shit Dave did not quit. Dave I can't. Was, <laughs> I don't know how to handle it. Dave, else. something else happened with Dave, but it wasn't quit. Adam keeps screaming at me, and was, I'm, I'm like, I don't like that. And you're like, he keeps saying it's singing, but he's screaming at me. <laughs> no, I did sing at him a couple times. I did sing at him, but it was not screaming, for, for sure. And it was not in a high-pitched voice. Mm-hmm. It was, um, you know, you know, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Why is your hair all like matted down? Matted down? Ma- it looks like you put shampoo in your hair and then didn't wash it out. I don't know. It's I like wear a hat. Matted down. I wear a hat on the way here, maybe. Mm-hmm. I have hat head, maybe. What should I put a little bit more volume in my hair today or something? I don't know. Just like mush down. I mushed it with a hat, bro. You know I wear it. I'm uh, just asking. I don't, you know what I mean? Listen, the bigger the show gets, the more so Hanukkah's attention we get. Up. So Hanukkah's on Friday. Christmas is a couple of weeks away. Mm-hmm. So today we're talking about our favorite gift gift options for the year. Is that right? That I would like? Yeah, that you would like. 
I don't know. I don't really think there's anything. If I want something, I just go get it. And then I, I kind of, the first two years of the podcast, I got all the things that I wanted. PS5? PS4? PS5 was the last of the things. You got a OLED TV? I do not, not have OLED. an OLED TV. What is yours? I have a, a Sony Z9D, which is a FALD display TV. We've been over this a bunch. Sorry? Well, you got a television? You don't, you don't know anything about TVs. You'll, like, read wire cutter for, like, a week, and you'll be like, I know everything about fucking blenders. And it's like, there's a whole, there's a whole world of people that read these reviews all the time. They're involved in the world. Mm-hmm. And you now, because you decided it's time for you to have an air fryer, you, you I know, dude, it's like the sickest one I read. I did get a new one. An air fryer? I got like a new toaster of an air fryer combo. Yeah, right. Yeah, a exactly. You, exactly. You got a combo. I got it. I got a you Cyber got a combo Monday. unit, and you're like, this is the best one. I didn't check but Cyber or Cyber. I didn't check uh, yeah. Wire Cutter on that one. I got to say, Wire Cutter does not have a good hit rate. I got to say, 50% of the stuff I've gotten that they've recommended is probably crap. Mm-hmm. And I don't understand the amount of time they have in, like, uh, they're like, we have 7,000 experts. What was that website originally? It was like how to steal cable or something. Was that what it was? Oh, yeah. like cutting the cutting the yeah. cutting the wire. Oh, that makes sense. That was I never put that together in my mind. Yeah, I think it was like digital like TV antenna reviews or something. Really? Because when when they switched over from old broadcast TV to the new digital shit, that kind of like ruined the experience of broadcast television. Uh huh. Which used to be it's like fuzzy and you got to play with the yeah the bunny ears. Yeah. Yeah. We used to have that at our house growing yeah, up. Yeah, I mean, everybody yeah. did. We're old. No, no. A lot of people's parents had cable. A lot of people's yeah. parents paid their bills on time. You know? Um, anyways, um, then when they switch it over to the new shit, and then if, like, you didn't have the right reception, then you would just get, like, green squares or whatever instead of the fuzz, and it, or it would, like, stop or glitch out. And, yeah. And then a lot of, you know, they added channels, but then... Also, the guide, it was presented as, there was like, well, I don't know if it was wire cutter, but people would be like, well, check out this hack. You don't even need cable. You can get all these channels for free. And it's like, yeah, that's just network television. They already had that. Uh-huh. It's like, yeah. stop paying for gas by fucking riding the bus or walking to work. <laughs> yeah. And bounce TV as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have you ever watched any of those channels, like 7.3 and stuff? It's just pretty much Law and Order, SVU reruns all day long. No, so like, I mean, I, there's like a black one that's I, like. I have cable now. I don't have cable. I do have a digital antenna actually, mm-hmm. but I don't really use it. I just use a, a login. I lo- you know I pay for streaming services and stuff, mm-hmm. and then I can watch events for free. Mm-hmm. Or not for free. I pay for it, but then I can watch watch them over streaming. But where I uh, my internet not to work, I do have a digital antenna. But it does kind of suck. You do actually have to kind of move it around. But it gets glitchy. Oh, it's on. I'm sorry. What? I didn't mean to put it on the. We'll talk about that later. Yeah, later. We'll talk about that shit later. Um. Anyway, uh, yeah. So we're talking Christmas gifts. So you feel like you have everything you want. Um, yeah, but would it be good gifts for people? Yeah, so like a lot of these people don't have well, good I'll just, relationships. I'll, I'll pass on, I'll steal a recommendation, and it's a recommendation from, uh, whichever one was the pedophile guy on Mythbusters. Okay. Who recommended a, uh, 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 an optical center punch. What is that? It's like a bomb sight center punch. What is a center punch? A center punch is like if you need to put a drill hole in something beforehand, you use a center punch so that the bit centers, the drill oh, okay. bit centers. Yeah. Oh, so it has like a laser that goes on the wall. There's no laser. It's a little. It's like a little bomb sight you look through. Oh. Um. And it makes a mark on the wall. It does not make a mark on the wall. No. Instead of just using your eye and hitting a center punch, it's got a like a. A little glass tube that you can look through, and then it magnifies 
the area underneath the cup. And then once it's centered, you pull the glass out, put the center punch in, and then you, and you hit it. So that's my recommendation also. So it's just, but that's just passed on from the um, the myth buster. That was that it. one of the things you predicted correctly? What? That it was a that they were pedophiles. I don't know if I predicted that. You don't think you did? Let me see. Mythbuster Jamie. Is that his name? No. Was it Jamie or Adam? Adam is a... Couldn't have been Adam. The guy's got a really awesome name. Adam. Which one is pedophile? Which one... Is pedophile. <laughs> um, and he... So... He gave this recommendation after he caught the case, or this is something he's been recommending for a while. I'm pretty confused about what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, the the Mistbusters, I guess, didn't like each other. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Which one is pedophile? Um, can't, I can't find... There's no, the information is not... I think it's uh, the Adam one. Uh, Adam suggested, our Adam uh, Ginsburg, he suggested that um, uh, an answer to our, uh, to our problem with our brain, uh, to how, how we've lost our sharpness or intellectually. Mythbusters star explains how the co-hosts survived 14 seasons without getting along. We're not friends. He said that after the other guy was a pedophile? I don't know which one is a pedophile. I've told you that multiple times. I thought you Googled which one is and pedophile. And it did not give me an answer. Really? It's so not, maybe neither of them are, and we're, we're kind of making some claims that are unfair. It's called uh, Optical Center Punch. I don't know what else to tell which you. Which one recommended it? I don't know, but as you notice, the, the show's logo is presented to you on this beautiful... Uh, graphite colored sea salt frame. Yes, that is correct. That is correct. With this nice texture to it. That Look I, at I, that. There's like a tactile thing I'm getting out of this. Yeah. I'll touch it. You tell people what it is. No, it is nice. It has like a. Well, kind of, I'm touching it. You can tell people what it is. What is that? Oh, look. Look at this. All right, folks. So today's episode is we were talking about holiday gifts. The holidays are coming around. Uh, and it's all about connecting with loved ones. There's no better way to do that with it than with a digital picture frame from Aura Frames. Wire cutter called it the best digital frame. And this is one of the ones they got right. And it's easy to see why. You can upload your favorite pics of the family to one frame, relive all those happy moments, or share big news like the addition of uh, like a new addition to the family, perhaps? Nick, would it, that, that could be a good idea. Mm. You give your parents a picture of this, and then you have your new adopted son, picture of him. Yeah. They open it up, they say, who the hell is that? You say, that's, that's my son that I've le legally adopted. Your father, he puts his hands over his mouth, he starts leaping, tears coming down his face. Here you go, throw that one in there. <laughs> there he is, right, you you adopted... You want to text it to me? You adopted. Text it to me? Yeah. All right, so I'll show you how easy it is. You have the Aura Frame app. Nick is going to text me this picture. I, I have a, I'm connected to the app, unfortunately. Um, so. Yeah, we had Adam try out the dude. So, so you, listen, like, folks, I'm really bad at, at phones and apps. You know that, right? So look how easy it is for even a, a guy like me to use. So Nick has just sent me a picture of his new adopted son. I have added it to, to uh, the Aura Frame app. And now, now here we have it, Nick's adopted son. Mm -hmm. So you want to practice? Um, let's just do a practice. Nick, you have... I want you to I'm put sending it, you more pictures to add in there. I want no, but I want you to put it like this. I, I I'm gonna play your father. I'm gonna play your father and your happy family. Okay, say um, guys, happy holidays. Holidays are all about love, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I want to show you something. I got you this. As ha a gift. Happy Hanukkah. I've gotten you this 
picture frame. Now, 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 Nick. <laughs> of our son. Nick, right? what the hell is that? My, my son, he's a, he's a comedian, folks. Um, so what the hell you been, <laughs> what the hell you get me this, uh, this picture of this, uh, this guy, this little kid, this little guy for? This is our new adopted family member. You got to well, you got it. You got it. I told if you want, you want to do a whole bit. I sent you pictures to put in there. I got it. Okay. You skipped a step where you All put right. them in there. All right. Clear out the <laughs> other ones. Put the new <laughs> ones in. Okay. All right. All right. Let's let's take that again. <laughs> let's take that again. Um, um, here we're gonna we're gonna take these off of the slideshow. All right, and Nick just sent me a couple, <laughs> a couple <laughs> new pictures. So right now, what I'm doing is I'm showing you how easy, how easy the hell, how the hell easy it is to use this. I just added two new photos to the frame, and those should be active now, Nick. So then you have. Who so, that now, Nick? Who the hell is that? This is Chapo Trap House host Will Manneker. <laughs> it is. It He's is. a friend of no, ours. No, you switch the camera. That is our friend Will. Oh, yeah, it's Will Manneker. And you know that it's nice to keep in touch with your friends. And yeah. Sometimes you can't get you can't uh, talk to them on the phone, so you get a I nice picture of them when you're our Will friend. Will in a while, you know, and just. I gotta say, up. this doesn't really look like a digital. There is something that looks like not a digital image. It, it does look like a photograph. To some extent, maybe I'm a stupid guy, but that communicates in my mind like a photograph mm -hmm. in the lighting right now. Or I, I think don't. there's maybe minimal backlight or something. Maybe minimal backlight. It kind of seems like. Now, when you go to this one, there's a heart that comes up. I don't know. Well, we love him. Long press. Shared by Adam. So these are a picture of our friend Will. And then, Will, and then that's Adam, your son. And my son. <laughs> that's Will, Will. And that's your son. And back to your son. Seems like it's a little. You've randomized this. This. Thing. I don't understand why it's not in an order. I'm gonna have to fuss with the settings, guys. So this is basically that's how easy it is to use. You have an app on your phone. It's connected via Bluetooth, and then we can have pictures and memories with us all day long. I'm sure we can uh, time out how long each photograph is up. And when it, when it's randomized, or whether or not it's randomized, guys, uh, Wire Cutter says this is the best digital photo frame. They can't be wrong. They have experts over there. Um, so if it's not personal enough, you could even upload a video message to play. Do you know that? Mm -hmm. So should you want to send me a video that I can maybe upload on that? All right. I mean, I guess yeah. I'll f try and find a video to send to you. I mean, we could show. In on short notice, I'll try to find the video. Oh, it doesn't have to be short. I mean, I can look for a video too. I mean, no. I mean, we're mid. Uh, no, it's fine. Doing something here, and now you're talking about. Oh, we'll just send the video. Well, say you know, send me a video. We show uh, how that works. I don't know. I think that's a good idea. Here, I got some videos up. All right, put a video in there. Uh, These are called Aura Frames, by the way, everybody. Aura Frames. Aura. Aura. That's what I'm saying, Aura. 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 You're saying Aura. It's Aura Frames. They have a pronunciation guide. Um, so here's a video, I don't know, so here's a video of me, we'll do this one, huh, I'll put this up on my Aura frames, put this on Aura, here, so I've prepared it, added it, here, and then, uh, do you have a video? Nick? Hmm? You have a video? Hmm. All right. Um, and I'm going back. To, so I've uploaded it to the Warframes app. 
Where is it? Whatever. So you can put a video in it. I uh, will show you the next time they they advertise with us. Um, you can play a video message on the frame as soon as they plug it in. Oh, okay. So Nick, this is this is what you're gonna want to do. You're gonna want to make a video. Say, Mom, Dad, I've got news for you. It's the holidays, right? Here we uh, go. Put this one in there. Okay. Send that to me. I'm trying. But the fun trick is. They can have this in the box. You put the video message in it as a gift. They plug it in, and then you say, Mom, Dad, this is a... Uh, oh, that's a beautiful video. Okay. Where's this from, Ginsburg? Did you take this on your phone? Where okay. was this, in Brazil? That's cool. So they're daytime owls. Okay, so here, I got a couple more. Just put the one I sent you in, Adam. Okay. Let's see. So you wanna? So we put those in videos, um, and unfortunately, it's not saving to my camera roll on today's day. It's saving like. So this is a. Uh, what date is that, Nick? I don't know, man. Just play the video. Put the video in photos, you. okay. Just put the video I sent you on. So it's okay, so that's uh so okay, so I'm going through my videos right now. This is a video Nick sent me. And then put that on there. Okay, so it's not This is a problem with my phone, not with the app. Okay, but here's it's a video. It's actually not even a problem with your phone, it's a problem with uh they call that user error. Yeah, it's user error. That happens with me quite fre frequently. So this is now, so I've put the, taken the video that Nick has sent me. I've now uploaded it to the Aura Frames app, and here we go. Here it is. And uh, now it should be, are there speakers on here? It says loading. It's loading right now, so obviously this is a... Uh, yes, there are. There's a speaker in the back. There's a speaker in the back. So, how do we turn the volume up on that? Okay, I touched this. We don't both need to touch this okay. thing. All right. Well, now you've disabled it. Tap once. Just once. M O U S A M I C K E Y M O U S A Mickey Mouse Donald Duck Mickey Mouse Donald Duck M I C K E Y M O U S A M I C K E Y M O U S A Mickey Mouse So there you have it, folks. All right, so how do we give the best gi uh, gift ever this holiday season? Give the perfect gift this holiday season by visiting AuraFrames.com. That's A-U-R-A Frames.com today to get $30 off their best-selling frames with the promo code T-A-F-S. These frames will sell out quickly, so get yours before they're gone. That's A-U-R-A Frames.com, promo code T-A-F-S. Terms and conditions apply. Thank you, guys. Awesome. awesome. All right. I watched Saw 1 last night. Was it scary for you? It uh, Well, I mean, it's just kind of gross, but, yeah, I forgot how much fun that first movie is. What is it? It's. I it's, might watch Saw 2 tonight. Yeah? Yeah. I watched Chinatown. I rewatched Chinatown. For like the 10th time. Okay, what does that have to do with Saw? We're just talking about what movies we've been watching. All right, do you have anything to say about rewatching Chinatown? Uh, this time around, I was like, I know the, I know what that's all about. Okay, so nothing. Anyways, yeah, I, I, Saw. I didn't realize the guy in the room is the guy that wrote the movie. Really? Yeah. 
Really? And the reason it's like a guy with like brain cancer is because he was like a neurotic and he was convinced that he had brain cancer. Really? Yeah. And then he was like, well, what would like, what would you do if you found out you had brain cancer? And I guess his instinct was I would kill people that didn't take their life. Like if they didn't appreciate being alive. Yeah. And, uh, and then, so yeah, it was like, just like, uh, and then he wrote the movie. He sounds like a real sick. And the director is his friend who's Chinese and they were Australian. He's one of those Chinese Australian guys. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I was all like, oh, right. Yeah, and you're like, oh, I didn't expect that Let me accent. get my shoes off here. Yeah? I didn't expect that accent. I don't really yeah. track any dirt into the house. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, that's a real that's a real curveball when you mm-hmm. hear that accent coming out. Oh, and I'll tell you what I can't stand is anti-Asian racism. Yeah. It's Stop something that really, really gets on my nerves. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, yeah, I guess it, it would. It would if you were Asian and Australian, especially with all the racism they have going on over there. Is that a racist country? It's a pretty damn racist country. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, I remember when I was there, I was like, oh, I realized that this is like, like, they were like, uh, they're closer to Asia, so of course they have more Asian immigrants than we do, mm-hmm. almost, you know? There used to be a, a camera place when I would like PA and pick up camera equipment. And I don't, I can't remember where it was. Somewhere around here actually. But one of the camera technicians was one of those guys. Asian Australian guy. And he'd be like, all right, this one's all ready to go. And I'd be like, God, that's bizarre. Yeah. It's like, it's, uh, it's like when you're in Chinatown and you see a guy with like a real like New York accent, but he's wearing all like, traditional Chinese stuff, kind of. Well, you don't ever really see that. Um, Sometimes. Yeah, no. I mean, it's and it's different than that, even. It's like, it is, it's jarring. And I'm trying to think what, like, a, another, you know, like when a car has the wrong horn. It's like a Lakuka <coughs> Racha. Yeah. No, like a Lakuka Racha horn. You're like, yeah. wow. Yeah. Or like an awuga when somebody gets a novelty. That's what horn. I was trying to do, but my voice came out with. Eh, eh, eh. You didn't just say awuga. Awuga. Yeah. yeah. Were that like in the in the kind of Dick Tracy days? Everyone had awugas going around. That's what horns sounded like. That's yeah. How, that's how racist America was that it used to because it was it was the car was just saying. The I N-word. thought awuga was more of a horny noise. No, it was the N word. No, I think awuga was like. Uh, no, you, you would a use it girl. to be like, oh, look out. Um, um, oh, see, you couldn't make it um, either. Why don't you just say a wooga? What? Why don't you just say a wooga? That's what it sounds like. Um, um, yeah. I, I, I did say a wooga a million times and then to demonstrate the That's noise. what I was trying to then do. I was I, trying to do the real wooga, but what just, came out was eh, eh. Yeah, which is way off. Which is way off. I understand. I'm not. My, so I was thinking, I was just saying before, Adam Ginsburg might, he was suggested. That we might have long COVID. I don't think I have long COVID. I think we might have the woman disease. No, you're saying something. I think that this is, I think this, you this might be a something. problem with our cognition. You couldn't do something and okay. then you go, you couldn't do something. And then you also did it. The, did something wrong. You did something wrong uh-huh. that led you to demonstrating that you can't do something. Right. And then I did something correctly. And then after that, or I did the right thing, and then after that, did a thing correctly, and you acted as if I had mm-hmm. done something That's incorrectly, but also that I did it at an inappropriate or inopportune time. Both of those are inaccurate. And now you're saying we both have long COVID in response mm-hmm. to you trying to drag me down to we're your level. We're in it together with the long COVID, and we're gonna fight. We're gonna be fighting this disease. Um, I'm not gonna. I will not go silent into that good night. You know, I, Nick. Listen, listen. We have a long lives. We have our, our whole lives ahead. Of, say, I, we have a long life ahead of us. I can't even speak, man, because of the long COVIDs. My speech stuff has cleared up. It has. Yes. Why did it clear up? Um, I don't know. I. It's like I just haven't been stumbling over words anymore. But I think for me, it was always a. Uh, uh, like health anxiety. I can tell when like my head's like, oh, you have this type of cancer. 
Uh huh. And then, and you, then you would write a movie about about what would you do? What would your thought be no. if you thought you had this type I'd of? I'd be like, oh, I think I have this pain in my liver, right? Yeah. And then, but I, I'm also like, okay, well, I know I'm under a lot of stress, and I know I, I like will just convince myself of something. So no matter how real it feels or how many symptoms I have, uh-huh. I know that it's just my fucking mind convincing me of one problem because there's other things well, that I'm not like, uh, you know, like I just can't address or fix just at the moment because I'm too busy. I've been known so, as eloquent in the past. What? I've been referred to as eloquent in the past. Yeah, elegant. Eloquent. Yeah, people would, it would they were grooming you. They'd no, be, people were telling me I'm eloquent. They would consider you an egg, I guess, in the... Yeah, they'd sit on me. You know, and Mother hen would egg, sit on egg me. Egg is the term that I, I believe they use in the... In the grooming community? No, not in the grooming community. In the... In the, the um, anyways, so today's episode is also brought to you by... What's it called? Oh, my God. Today's episode is also brought to you... Okay, guys, listen... Uh, today we want to talk to you about ship station. Okay, the holidays are the busiest time of the year. So we don't want you to get stuck worrying about shipping orders. Listen, we ship stuff for the show, right? We ship t-shirts. Um, we teach, uh, ship mugs, ship yarmulkes well, for the truth, show. Well, truth be told, I mean, we don't do any of the shipping ourselves We don't anymore. do any of the shipping let's, logistics. Let's put it this way. You're going into e-commerce, and I'll tell you something. I did e-commerce myself. Well, uh, the Adam Friedland show sh- shirts. I think that's that was a waste of money. Yeah, we've uh, we've sold about thirty shirts. I think is that. I mean, for real though, I think that was a waste. And I think I think it's. I think, I think you we're should all right give me my cut of what I spent on that back because I did not think this. I think I think we. I think I, think I, I said to you. Yarmulkes I, don't, I are, do not think yarmulkes are a really stupid idea. But people wore those to pro Palestine rallies. It's maybe three people did, and that was important to yeah. show the show's logo on a Jew. First of all, that's solidarity. Second of all, you're getting the name of the show out there. Okay. Third, so listen, we're paying for that. Yeah, but then why not just buy three of them and give them to people? Because I don't know rather who's going than, to those rallies. Rather than buy a thousand of them. I don't know who's going the, to those rallies. You got to you got to send them out. You got to send them out. My and point then, is this. Okay. Maybe you want to get into e-commerce. Um, our friends at, at Ridge Wallet. Uh, yes. Which, you know, I they, they don't advertise on the show anymore, but only because we haven't asked them to. And I think yes. they've kind of outgrown podcasts at this point. But, um, you know, I like they, they that guy, that guy called me up just to try to, Tell you, hey, you should get back into t-shirts because he loves e-commerce. When did he call you up? I don't know, like six months ago. Oh, okay. Great. I've just had a lot of trouble with print shops. But when um, I was doing it, like ShipStation is the, uh, that's like the industry standard. Yes. If you're in e-commerce, uh, you are, you kind of already know this. So it's, it's interesting that they're even advertising. It's a because, big deal for us. Well, I mean, I, I, I was surprised when I saw that they bought, they that these reads came in because like it's there's I mean you have to use ShipStation, it would be like uh, it'd be like if if you I mean it's not I don't I don't know if they even have competition it's just like and if they do nobody uses it uh-huh. ShipStation is the way to go it's definitely better than Spotify shipping if you get into e-commerce Shopify what did I say Spotify, Spotify. yeah whatever Long COVID. Fucking long no, COVID. No, it's I always even COVID. years ago I always confused those two. Yeah, long COVID. All right, I mean, um, I know but, you think the, it's but funny, in fact, but it's it's not that because uh, that's that's not necessarily true because the thing that's nice about ShipStation is it seamlessly, um, it seamlessly and effortlessly integrates with Etsy, Amazon, Shopify, eBay, more anything that you sell stuff online with. Um, this is a product that seamlessly integrates with yeah, all most of us. Yeah, the, the way most of these places work is, you know, you buy, you know, orders come in and then just give you a list of the order and what they bought. But let's say you find some success, you know, you're new to e-commerce and you make, uh, I don't know, let's say you make fucking chicken tikka masala. You're selling that through the mail. Mm-hmm. No one's ever thought of that. Let me sell Indian food through the mail. And, um... You know, it's because it's a brilliant idea for a business. Uh-huh. No one's ever thought of it before. You get 3,000 orders and, uh, you know, you're doing fulfillment yourself. 
and you're just looking at like a fucking list of orders on that could get that could be a real headache shopify it's yeah. a pain in the ass you yeah. get ship station you can also just set yourself up with like a one of those little uh <coughs> like a like a like a label printer yeah so that it'll print the shipping label and the pick list and you uh -huh. can set, set all that up through ship station so it'll it'll buy the fucking It'll buy the postage for the order that prints out. Yes. The fucking the pick list prints out. So you can go to your you can, here's the here's the thing. Rip that off, throw it right on the poly mailer, and then you know exactly what the stuff in there. It's the weights are calculated. Everything's done. Yeah. It really makes it a, a lot easier. Yeah. So that's 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 the point. Is that um, it makes all of this stuff easy to use. And so what we have offering to you guys is a free trial and quick setup and now is the time to try a ship station out for if you haven't been if you've been on the fence before okay so you could easily and quickly update crucial order information reduce errors as i said before you effortly effortless effortless effortlessly integrate everywhere you sell online including amazon ebay etsy um, ship station manages orders prints labels compares rates optimizes every shipment and automates delivery notifications to your customers. So these are not, you don't have to press any buttons. You got the shit, you got the dashboard doing it for you. Okay. So, um, including returns, guys, that's a big thing. Um, it automates returns and offers custom smart uh, recommendations for exchanges to keep customers happy. I guarantee you this. I mean, I can't yeah. guarantee it, but you both say you buy one of these R frames. Yeah. For a family member this weekend. I bet you they use it. I, I, I bet you. you guess, yeah. who's, guess who's getting this? So if you buy this shit for your grandma and it gets to her, it's because ShipStation got it there. That's me swinging a golf club. All right, next. Um, anyway, guys, so ShipStation has enterprise solutions that reduce warehouse costs and improve profitability. Their robust automations and reporting makes scaling easy. As your business grows, you can save thousands of sh on shipping costs. That's a fuck ton of money, guys. We're even more saving on sh on shipping costs. It's 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 uh, it's fucking. It's like you know, I, when I started selling those shirts, it, it feels like oh, I'm just printing money. I spend yeah. a day like doing the art, which yeah. I enjoy doing. Yeah. I enjoy drawing the shirt. Yeah. Send it off to the print shop. They send me. You know, I would usually buy like maybe 1,500 to 2,500 shirts of whatever uh -huh. type. And then you put it up for sale. And at the time, people were buying them. So you get like, you know, all the money comes in immediately. So you have, you have a hit. You're looking at $45,000. You're like, wow. But then it's like bell to bell for seven, eight days in a row. You were, I was waking up at 5 a.m. and I would be bagging shirts and like labeling them and everything. Yeah. And I would fuck it up all the time because I'd have like spreadsheets I was trying to do, trying to figure out. Yeah, you out. had a ruler out, you had to get everything right. Well, not and you folding. you still mess it up. Yeah, just trying, yeah. To, trying to do it with just the built-in, uh, but yeah, use ShipStation. And it's like, oh man, I was wasting But guess so what, guys? Time. They also have discounted rates from industry leader leading shippers, like USPS, UPS, DHL, and Global Post. So get discounts of up to 84% off USPS and UPS rates. That's fucking huge. Mm -hmm. So they're actually saving you money. Um, 130,000 companies have scaled their e-commerce business with ShipStation. And 98% of the companies that stick with ShipStation for a year become customers for life. You hear that? 98%. Yeah, because I mean, it's not, it's like yeah. a necessary. You have to have it. Well, that's what I mean. It's, it's, that's why I said it's weird that they're even advertising because it feels, it's like having like business insurance. Well, it's, something it's, you the, need. it's the holiday season, so this is a good time to advertise it's because, like, yeah. let's say you have an e commerce site. Let's say you sell uh, chicken tikka masala. Let's say you uh, have an idea where you sell uh, unlicensed merchandise from our show that, uh, that, you know, that we don't know about. Mm -hmm. Guys. This is what their offer is to our customers or to our listeners today. Go to ShipStation.com, use promo code TAFS today, and guess what they're giving you? 60 days free trial. Oh, that's a lot. That's 60 two, days. Two months. So I'm that'll get you that. through the holiday season. I might even start. I'm gonna. I might even start my own secondary. Because you know what I do. I do. 
I love those shipping labels. I love like printing them at home. I love doing all the like. It gets it's peaceful to you. Uh, yeah. There's a zen. Uh, it's yeah. like doing a raking uh, the. Well, in my head, I just hear the like bum 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 yeah. Mr. Factory Man. Cartoon fact, Factory Man. Now I know, I understand. Here's the angle on this. I take back saying I don't understand why they're even advertising. This is not directed at anybody that has an e-commerce business. This is directed at people that want to play factory. Yeah. Sign up for two months, even if you don't even have something to sell. Yeah. Get the basic fucking Shopify plan. Do drop ship anything. Figure out something that 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 and set the price as low as you're not making any money. Yeah, you already get a, a a fucking trial anyways, and see how much you enjoy playing factory. Playing factory, sell garbage from your apartment uh -huh. for nothing. For nothing. For nothing. Yeah. Just make the consumers pay or the customers pay the shipping costs, and then uh, upfront investment for the little label printer. And the Bluetooth speaker that's playing the the powerhouse song. Yeah, that song. Yeah. yeah. All right. 60 day free trial. That's shipstation.com slash T A F S. Thank you, ShipStation. All right. And thanks for them. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, Will. She is our friend. Mm -hmm. It really does look nice. Yeah. It doesn't look like you got this at CVS for your grandma. Mm -mm. It's a very nice thing. We got some nice uh, ads this week. Yeah. Yeah. Nice com nice companies. Good companies. They've been nice to us. Good companies. Not some shady, you know, whatever the fuck. You yeah. Know, some nice stuff. You ever eat any broccoli sprouts? No. I try to just get like the right serving of vegetables a uh -huh. day. And usually I do a green smoothie. But I've been reading that broccoli sprouts are the way to go. But they're, what are those? I, they're, they look like, you know, like... Uh, Alfalfa alf sprouts? They look the same, but they're they're different. Uh-huh. I mean, they're broccoli sprouts. Where do you get them? Like, it's like health food Yeah, I'm at Whole Foods sometimes, but I guess you have to, like, the best way, you have to just do it yourself. You get them... Grow, you grow, you grow them in mason broccoli. jars, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it takes, like, a week. They grow pretty quick. You have to buy seeds? You buy the seeds, you put the seeds in, pour filtered water in there, drain them out, just get them wet, and then, you know leave the jar upside down you don't need mud or anything in there. no no mud no soil and then uh but yeah apparently they're supposed to be really good for you really yeah. wait they stick to the bottom of the jar and then you put them upside down uh well you kind of want to let it like drain but they stick to the sides and stuff and then they just grow out of the sides yeah maybe that'll be my little project and then you put it in the windowsill so mm -hmm. it gets done you don't even need that i don't think yeah those really? Are, yeah. Well, because they're sprouts. And it's good for you? Yeah, it's good for you. What does it do? Makes your crap nice? No, it's like the antioxidants and stuff. What is it? I never knew what an antioxidant. Well, there's things that they're free radicals, they oxidize or something, and then that makes your cells more likely to turn into cancer. Mm -hmm. So you, if you have antioxidants, then it doesn't oxidize. Yourselves. I don't even like free radicals. I thought they got the music in you. No, very funny. Yeah, good job. Reference to the band. Yeah, Courtney Love and Marilyn Manson mm -hmm. uh, yeah. will kick your asses. Mm -hmm. You remember that? Yeah, yeah, very good job. Sorry. No, I mean, you know, it's, yeah, you're just... Oh, I thought that, it was interesting what you were saying. I interrupted. Exactly, exactly correct. Yeah. What? No, it's, you know, the free radicals or just like the band. Free, what, if, what if the thing we were talking about was actually the, the band with the exact same name? Yeah. Instead of, you know, the kind that about sell. Anyways, what, I don't know. So what? Do you care or do you not care? Do you want to know about it or no? You just said that they're free radicals that 
could be cancer causing, so you need antioxidants to counteract them. Something like that. I don't know. And I'm they got the music in them. Now, do you want to say the lyric, some more of the lyrics, too? I only know the Courtney Love and Marilyn. Marilyn Manson, they're going to the, the beat your asses. Do you know any of them? Huh? Do you know the lyrics? It's a good song. Don't, yeah, got the melody. You get what you give. You got to get what you give. Mm -hmm. Oh, you get what you give. All right. Yeah, that's in the title of the song. I don't remember, I don't know. I just remember they were in the mall. Yeah. They were rocking. It's a good song. It's also, that was a good era. I feel like that's an era that you, you have some sort of nostalgia for. Affinity for, for. yeah. I don't know why. I don't. But yeah, those years. Which Late 90s. No, it's even past that. It's like specifically it's 99, that, 99. It's the year 2000, really. It's just the year 2000. It's mu music that babysitters of ours would have listened to. I didn't have a babysitter. I would listen. I would. I wouldn't even listen to that music. It's just the the the. I think it. What year is that? You've got the probably music 2000, 2001. In you, uh, you get what you give. Song nineteen ninety eight is when it came out. Okay, but I, the year I'm thinking of is two thousand. That's why I like that. Uh, uh, Steal my sunshine. No, that restaurant in fucking Dumbo. Oh, the iMac restaurant. The iMac restaurant. Yeah. Yeah, something about, I don't know, like yeah. the, those years. It was, and like commercials were different. What were they like? I don't they know. They weren't that good. What? There were a lot more local commercials. Well, I was, I you know, know, the dancing fucking bitch commercial, like that kind of stuff. What dancing bitch? In the, the Mitsubishi Eclipse. The, oh, uh, yeah. The one they made fun of on the Chappelle show. Yeah. The Zoom Zoom? Yeah. I don't, oh, you hate Zoom Zoom. I No, not Zoom Zoom. There's a Mitsubishi Eclipse commercial. Now yeah, you're talking yeah, about the Mazda like the... Zoom Zoom commercial from 1996. You know goddamn well the different things. <laughs> Sorry. They're completely different. I know, yeah, I know. It's just the knowing, like, oh, yeah, oh, I know what you're talking about, and then c immediately wrong. Just completely <laughs> wrong. Sorry. Just completely wrong, right out of I the gate. I was so wrong. Oh, yeah, no, we I was all so know. Wrong. Oh, yeah, like the, I was so wrong like the Dodge Durango commercial with the dad from Gilmore Girls, right? I don't like that. that one. No, not like that, Adam. Was there a dad from Gilmore Girls? Yes. Oh, yeah, Laura Lee's dad. Yeah, what's yeah, his yeah. name? Herman. The, the dad from uh, uh, Richie Rich, too. Yeah, we just talked about him, Edward Herman. Yes. He was in a Dodge Durango commercial? He was the voice of Dodge. After uh, Dodge, Dodge, I forget what they called that uh, era, but yeah, Dodge is done. It doesn't exist. It's just Ram trucks. Yeah. Um, 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 you know when the Prowler came out, those that era. You would you drive a, a Plymouth Prowler? No. Only if it had the attached uh, trailer. It had a trailer for it. They had a trailer. That it was very, like a rare accessory, but they had a trailer <laughs> that looked like the back of the Dodge Prowler, and it had a towing package that you could bring it with, so you could go camping in your Dodge Prowler. Wait, it was a Dodge? I thought it was a Plymouth. It's this. That's the same. Dodge, Plymouth, Chrysler. It's all the same. Oh, it was GM. Mopar. Mopar. It's What's not the, GM. What's Mopar? <laughs> Mopar is Chrysler, Dodge, Plymouth. <laughs> well, I've never heard of that. <laughs> Yeah, it's Mopar. GM is GM is Chevy. Chevy GMC. Old che yeah, Je Chevy GMC, Oldsmobile, Buick, basically everything else except Ford, and Ford is Ford, Lincoln, Mercury. Oh, Chrysler was. Chrysler is Mopar is Chrysler. Is Mopar. Yeah. And then they merged with Mercedes Benz. And then uh, now that's all. What is it? Fucking. Um, the Chinese probably, huh? Yeah, the Chinese. China, China, the Chinese just sold Volvo. They got rid of their shares. Really? Yeah. So I don't have a Chinese car anymore. Volvo is not. Yeah, Volvo is not doing well. Why not? I don't know. Everyone China. loves those damn things. Chinese China said we're out. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh no. 
Probably because that would they're like that whole that new structure of lease to own thing they did was a failure. Was it? I think so. I don't think people did it. Well, I still don't have my fucking Volvo because it's still at the shop after it was wiped out by Hasidic. Uh, it's probably because you mentioned you had one on the show, and then people are like, "Oh, these are lame now." Volvos suck. I thought they were luxury cars, but they're for <coughs> they're an under they're an understated form of luxury, mm -hmm. kind of. Could you imagine if um, Ikea and Prada did a collab? Pretty much what you're getting, the interior of a new Volvo. You don't like understated luxury? Oh, and there's just everything about <laughs> Um, today's episode is also brought to me. Well, <laughs> we got we got a lot on these today, guys. It's an old friend, guys. Today's episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Let's talk about sex. Do you want to bring the heat in the bedroom? Now you can increase your performance, get an extra confidence in bed. Listen up, BlueChew.com. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but in chewable tablets at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead and be ready whenever the opportunity arises. The process is simple. You sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription in a few days. Guys, the best part, it's all done online. So no visits to the doctor, no awkward conversations, no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped directly to your door in a discreet package, okay? Guys, so does it work? Do you need it? Try it free for a month and see. You're gonna love it. You could be missing out on the best sex of your life. Listen, it doesn't, it's not about the partner, it's about the, uh, the, the boner. You get the boner, and then you get the best sex of your life, folks. I like to go in hard on situations a lot of the time. Um, Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at BlueChew.com. Chew it and do it. Blue Chew, we are old friend of ours. Old friend, old mm -hmm. pal of the show. Friend of a lot of ours in a lot of, uh, a lot of different ways. Uh, there's nothing sexier than confidence, folks. Again, another company I don't understand why they're advertised because it's sort of a necessity. I mean, this is life-saving medicine. Yes. The That's fountain true. of youth. That's true. Yeah. Makes you wonder if there's stem cells in it or something. How, yeah. How well it works. It's kept us young. I get, you know who takes it? Not confirmed, but rumored? Hillary Clinton. She does. After they closed Epstein's Island, they needed something close to adrenochrome. And really? As, and as close as it could get is Blue Chew. Really? Mm -hmm. It does give you that extra confidence, that extra boost. Mm -hmm. um, to look yourself in the mirror look and, and look down for the first time in months, which I, I, I have trouble doing unless I have, get a little help from my old friend Blue Chew. They always say first impressions are important. And what about lasting impressions, Nick? That's important. Not the first one but the lasting one. So with bluechew.com, men everywhere are excited to see the postman because when your package has arrived, your package has arrived. You know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Pretty cool. So we've got a special deal for our listeners. You try Blue Chew free when you use promo code TAFS at checkout. You just pay the $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code T-A-F-S to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. We thank BlueChew for sponsoring this podcast. Thank you very much to our old pals, BlueChew. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, BlueChew. I miss you guys. Thank you, BlueChew. I love you. I miss everybody. I miss my life, and I feel... What life? I used to have a life. What? What did you do? I, well, uh, most of it was sort of internal. I mean, I spent a lot of time alone, but I had a rich internal world uh. that I could retire to, and now I feel like that's gone. There's just nothing inside? It's not that there's nothing, but it's mostly... If you go inside, what's the room, what's your, the bedroom of your, of your mind looking like? It's mostly practical stuff. I exist sort of in the city now rather than... 
than uh, Marvin's room. Uh. Marvin's playground. That's what I called it. That's what I called the world I occupied. Marvin's room. Marvin's playground. Uh huh. Um, so there, you it was like a kind of like a tune town kind of situation. Yeah, except the tunes were all black artists and myself. So is it where the rhyme? I would vis- I would visualize. <laughs> yeah, just uh, yeah. A but, racist word. Not why do you think it would be racist? Because you're saying that you only hung out. With, it was a, like a black village that you lived in. Or it was like Basquiat. And they would all encourage me. Uh, James Baldwin. Mm-hmm. Um, Ava DuVernay. Yeah. Tyler Perry. Steve Harvey. Mm-hmm. The whole gang. The whole gang was there. Yeah. Tupac Shakur. James Baldwin in particular. James Baldwin. Yeah, he was like, you're one of the greatest artists I've ever met. He said, he's, I don't think he's talking about that. That's what he sounded like. No, I don't think he did. You know, Lemon. I think I he talked you, like this. When I met you, Lemon, I thought. <laughs> no, no, I think you're thinking of, I think you're thinking of Jack Donahue from 30 Rock. No, that's a character that James Baldwin played. No, that wasn't. You're thinking of Alec doing, Baldwin. That, that's of Alec a character Baldwin. that James. No, well, no. First James of all, Baldwin is also one of Alec Baldwin's characters. No, it's not. No, it's not. He was a gay black writer from, uh. That was the character. Olden yeah. days. That was the character. When he had uh, he had debates with uh, w- William Buckley. Oh, the shadow knows. <laughs> no, that's not James big, Baldwin. There's a big James Baldwin line. Why? What does shadow mean in that context? Uh, he, he, well, he had a ring that he would give people. Does he exist in the shadows? And if he saved your life, you know, you'd get the uh, the ring. Really? Yeah. Like an engagement ring or something like that? Um, no, it was a ring that would glow when you had to contact the shadow, and then you would have to contact them through a vacuum tube postal system. Really? Yeah. I love... Which they still have in Prague. Did you know that? What? Pneumatic, pneumatic tubes? Pneumatic tube posted. Everyone's post- house has one? I think the, most of the businesses in Prague still have, they have the infrastructure for that. It's the only city still that has one. But they used to have that? Yeah, they had it in Manhattan. It would go for, you could send something from Buildings. the Chrysler to the, to the Empire? This building probably at some point back, you know, when this, because this building has been around 100 years. Whatever oh. business was in here. I'd like to imagine, you know what I've been doing to make myself happy? I've been convincing myself reincarnation is real. Oh, yeah. Which I did believe in as a child. No one told me about it. I just assumed it existed. That you come back as another guy or I like thought, as an animal? I thought that I had lived another life. Yeah. When I was a small child. And what was what was the your impression of what that know, life I was? I just see it. I was just, you could feel it, you know? But it's a very comforting thought. That's probably yeah. the, the, uh, of any. Uh, it's weird that only Hindus, and I guess by extension, the Indian types of Buddhists, rather than the Japanese self-flagellating type of Buddhists. Well, I think like yoga bitches also probably. That's also Indian. That's that's like a Indian. They're just borrow. They're like a pr- appropriating Indian. Yeah, but what crap. the fuck do you think yoga is? Yeah, but what I'm saying is like a California smoothie type of lady. She also is like, when I come back in my past life. Uh huh. Yeah, they love talking like that. Well, it also implies, you know, you know, the, the, the people that you've lost, you'll see them again. Well, and maybe you won't see them again. Maybe they're going to be like a, on your, a bug on your windshield. Like your mom could be a baby right now somewhere, you know, and you guys could meet again under favorable terms. I don't mean like in a bad way. Yeah, but there's so many people on Earth, you know, she'd be like us. Uh, yeah, but you don't know. You can could, you could come back. I don't meet a lot of babies, though. I know, but that's what it might, that might not be immediately. Yeah. In in five years or something, there could be like a, a five-year-old that, you know, it's like waiting in line for ice cream. It just and sees me? And, and it's, well, you know, the mom is like... Uh, My grandma? The mo- I, no, the mom of the five-year-old is like, we don't have money for ice cream. We had got we had, and then you're like I I can for some reason I want to pay for this ice cream, and then you do it and the five year old's like well, thank you, and you don't know but like That's you get mom. a feeling and you're like oh I just I bought I bought my mom who's now a black child ice cream and it makes up for all the racism too that I did you just think you're trying to make up for I don't know. yeah you just I don't you know. think. 
But you know, that's a pleasant thought, right? Think about it. That's Convince your, close your eyes for a second no, and I'm imagine. Gonna, I'm, I'm like a little emotional just here. It's man. nice, right? It is really nice. Yeah, it's not. Nice. That's what I mean. I mean, that's And who knows? Know. It's like, it could be a, a billion Indian people think it's real. There's and the more mom that doesn't have the money? Ah, that's just some piece of shit. That's just a shit mom piece of shit. But what if she, you know, what if I'd be like, yeah, I think you should be my grandma who's also dead? That would be weird. I don't think it comes <laughs> back like that. I think you just get, you get, you get like ships crossing, you know? That's nice, ships yeah, crossing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's a, And you just get a little feeling. It's not even yeah, like, you it's know. it's like, oh, that's weird. Yeah. It's just a nice, warm feeling. Yeah. And it's fleeting. Yeah, isn't that nice? Yeah. And that would be the application to you. In me, I'm thinking like I come back as some sort of warlord that kills. Yeah. Just because I have always, you know, it's not going to happen in this lifetime. You're just going to be Edie on me. I was trying to like remember. That. I was trying to remember. It got stuck in my head when I had a fever. That line from the master. Uh, where he, where at the end of the movie he goes, uh, Freddie, I remember where we know each other. We worked together in Paris um, at the Pigeon Postal Service, and we would send unguided balloons with messages during a siege of the city by Prussian forces during the coldest winter on record, and we sent 62 balloons and only two went missing. He tells him that. And I had that in my head and I'm like what the fuck movie is that from I couldn't remember Ooh. and what was coming to my head and I was like sick in bed and I would like fall asleep and I'd wake up I'm like what movie is that from and it's like I thought the things I was thinking I was like is it fucking radio <laughs> <laughs> I was like is it Michael uh -huh. I thought maybe it was Michael Michael the, yeah. the, the angel movie yeah and it was a dream catcher because yeah. I was seeing like is it a walk to remember well I was seeing like a main character that's magical but like disabled in yeah. some way you know green mile something like that and then and then I woke up I'm like oh it's Patton it's the movie Patton it has to be Patton because Patton believed in past lives he did yes Really? General Patton thought he had been a, uh, like, in, in, in just in every war. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, he was just the sickest fighter in every war. Yeah. yeah well, there's that Achilles. scene in the, in the movie where they go out and he was like, I was here thousands of years ago. I don't remember that movie at all. Yeah. Patton. I just remember the flag, the speech. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That movie's awesome. Yeah, George C. Scott. Yeah. I want to see it again. But I thought it was... It That's was, worth a I thought I thought it had come at the... And, and I was like, is that at the end of the movie? Does he say it to his his assistant? Because Patton believed in reincarnation. But it was and the master. It was the master. But then, yeah, I mean, you know, you think about it. It is a very comforting thought. It is a really nice thought. Mm -hmm. So you think you still believe in that or no? Yeah, why not? Yeah, I mean, why you not? Just decide. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, that could be a nice thing to like be like give a, give a person a little comfort. Mm -hmm. You're feeling pretty crummy. Yeah, yeah. It's better than heaven, to be honest with you. Way better. Heaven forever. Right. What the hell is that? Well, it's also too. You still have to wait. It's like, oh, I'll see you again. Yeah. You know, if you have somebody that you lost, you can say, oh, I'll see you again. It necessarily requires that you die as well. Right. You know, and it's like, okay, maybe. If also, if I go to heaven, I'm not a good guy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, but or like you could have a wife and she dies before you, but you don't know that she had a boyfriend that really meant a lot to her and then he tragically died. And he's there. And, it's and the then same. he's already up there and then he's fucking her. Mm -hmm. And you're like so excited to see her. Mm -hmm. And she's like, oh, I didn't tell you about this guy from college who had a motorcycle accident. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he would pick me up on his motorcycle and... He was actually on the way to pick me up one day. Mm -hmm. You know, he was kind of a rebel without a cause. Mm -hmm. You get up there, you've been living, you hadn't gotten any pussy since your wife died 40 years because that was the love of your life mm -hmm. and you couldn't imagine being with anyone else. And then you get up there and fucking James Dean is, is banging her. Mm -hmm. That's no heaven I want to go to. No, yeah, it's better just be somebody you... That's no heaven I want to go to. You, 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 you feel inspired to... To engage in some kind of charity towards, and you don't know why. Yeah. And it's because. Yeah, just for a second. Your, it was your landlord that you used to talk. You used to talk about movies with. who shot himself in the head. Yeah, but he was a good guy. Yeah, you're like, oh, that's fucking, that's Larry. Yeah, and you didn't have to pay rent the next month. Oh yeah, no. You got away with rent for like two and a half like, months. Well, you're the one that found him. Because you found him. Yeah. 
<laughs> and his kids were like, uh, yeah, we're kind of yeah, looking at the records. Yeah, we haven't seen him in 30 years. He's yeah. just in this shitty apartment. And I was like, well, I guess I was more of a son to him than you could have ever been. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, saw his, his, I saw his brains on a wall. Mm-hmm. Where the hell were you? Right. And they were like, he was a bad father. He actually, he abused us. Yeah. I was like, that doesn't make me that I'm not a better son. You know, he never abused me. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, reincarnation is nice. And we both like the movie Gladiator. Mm-hmm. We watched it together one Yeah, time. what other what other things can I convince myself of? Because we just, you spend all day lying to yourself anyways. Yeah, sure. You know? Yeah. Why That's not, the only way you get through your day is by lying to yourself. Right. Why not do it with something harmless that's nice like that? Yeah, that's that seems really sweet. Yeah, like uh, and like it couldn't make you uh, a gen. Well, I, I guess in the instance of Patton, I guess maybe it could make you a genocidal maniac, right? I'm saying yeah. like the, the the thought of like reincarnation that could be really sweet. But then if you're like I'm the I'm the best soldier in every war, or even in terms of because doesn't it, like uh, Zizek says that Buddhism is a uh, sociopathic religion. Why? Well, because you don't, because there's no possession, you don't have to take any responsibility for anything in the material world. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Is that right? I kind of just guessed that. Yeah, essentially. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, not yeah, not possession. It's it's it leads people to inaction. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like why not? They're like I guess it did happen with the Japanese. You know, you did have people that were Zen practitioners, and then there was also that video of like a supposed Zen master in. Israel that's giving instruction to the IDF on how to kill people and enjoy it. Why? I don't know. Cause, I mean, is he like a guy from Tibet doing that? Or no, a Jewish a, guy a that's Jewish like guy, yeah. really good at Zen? Well, you got, you, I mean, I really that like, is such a bullshit path for Jews. Yeah. They love doing that. A lot of the... Yes, a lot of middle-aged Jews will be like, Zen yeah. Masters. They're like, oh, I'm, well, actually, I'm very spiritual. I'm getting into the East mm-hmm. recently. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, yes. But I don't know if Zen's really heavy on the reincarnation stuff or even... It's more of that, like, yeah, Tibetan, Indian stuff. I don't know what the terms for it are, but... I don't freaking know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, you could say if, like, you know... I Why I like to think about it, because then you don't really have to worry about time. It's like, oh, there's all these things I want to do. Half of them are just, oh, it would be nice if I had, like, (laughs) enough money to do this, you know? Yeah provide this and uh you know it's like okay well maybe if i keep working this way i'll be able to do that when i'm 55 years old and i'm Uh probably 20 years away from death but then if you're like oh i have multiple you can just come back and then start at zero yeah start at zero start at zero yeah you know and then and then spend another 55 years it's called reincarnation capitalism yeah but no, I mean that's a good, that's a perfect example. Well, it is of why because it breeds, you know, like being, you know, like uh, nihil- being beaten down by nihilistic or whatever. You, if if you are of the thinking that that uh, you're you gonna know, come back. Well, that, that that capitalism is evil, right? Let's say that's like an evil or immoral way to structure society. Uh-huh. And if you did believe in reincarnation, then it would be like, well, there's no such thing as wealth inequality because you know you could just come back as somebody whose parents are rich Uh you could just come back as it's like this equalizer right you know like a like a caste system right like isn't the whole i don't really know anything about it but isn't the whole idea is like if you were what are those low the the unstinkables what's the lowest one um the unsmellables the ferengi the ferengi well that's the the one above it who is it? Oh, the... The Jedi are at the top. The Jedi. Right. Well, the Jedi are like the priests. And then it's the baristas. The Beringi... The Barest... The, the baristas. The baristas. And yeah. then the Ferengi. And then the poo people. The poo-poo... The poo-poo the boys. The poo-poo guys. <laughs> the slumdog poo-poo boys. Yeah, the, yeah. Port- the port-a-potty Kind of the port-a-potty The style. port-a-potty Hindus. And port-a-potty then, house. And then yeah. below that is the unstinkables. Yeah, unstinkables. And then yeah. below that is like a cow, I guess. Yeah, a cow. And that's the most that's the most sacred animal. Yeah, yeah. And then the bottom animal is the stink bug. The stink bug. Yeah. What? What? Nothing, dude. Why did you make a silly face to the camera? No, I just saw the light and it took my distract it oh, distracted me. Um uh 
uh, but you know, you, you have a system like that where there's like, I guess, you know, it's like, oh, if you do a good job in this life, then you can be reborn into this other class, Yeah. which the classes are, I'm assuming determined by like, you know, like your material circumstances. Correct. Right. Yeah. So it's like, it's like, okay, we have this fixed social strata, but the sense of justice is built into the idea of reincarnation. So in that way, it could be harmful. Yeah, it's harmful because, yeah. But you, it's only harmful if it's not real, which it could be. Yeah, if it's a lie that you're telling your workers it's a lie if you're telling who yourself. are losing their arms right. because of your unsafe practices at your factory, mm -hmm. at your do 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 yeah. factory. Yeah. Yeah. If you're, yeah, if you're not paying anybody and you're like, look, Listen, I'm fucking. I'm gonna. You're gonna I'm gonna come be. I'm rich. gonna be dead in 20 years. I'm yeah. coming back as a doo doo guy. I know that. I'm gonna be a doo doo bug. I'm gonna know. I'm gonna be a doo doo. I'm coming. I'm coming back as a stink bug, brother. <laughs> and you're gonna be. I'm gonna be this little fucking just uh, shit eating bug. Mm. And you are gonna be a Ferengi. Yeah. And I'm so. cheating on my wife right now because she's gonna come back as yeah. a woman that doesn't get cheated on. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. gonna be all right next time yeah. around. And the girl I'm cheating on her with disgusting nasty but i she's gonna be hot next time she's gonna be hot next and time. guess who's trying to live in her pussy when they're a bug yeah and i'm trying to meet her when she's a baby and i'm a bug i'm a bug and i go is that her pussy yeah <laughs> one day when i'm a bit a bug and she's a baby mm -hmm. then we can truly be together yes um all right i think is that it oh nick i just got some word on some nice news what it's snowing outside is it? Yeah, let's go see the snow. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I read that it was supposed to snow. See, that's a sign. That's a sign. Everything, I'm getting into signs. My girlfriend too. just texted me snowing. Let's go outside and look at the snow. Okay, well, thanks Bye, for everybody. guys. If you haven't checked out the special yet, please watch. If you don't mind, send it to your family. Send it to a couple of normies, because I, I guess that's how the algorithm works. Yeah, it? you got to send it to, like, office compilation clip, guys. Yeah, see yeah. if we can, uh, whatever. All right.